How you doing, YouTube? This is Brogan Narg, and I'm back again with another review. Got my man Cuba with me, and we're here to review Aquaman, directed by James Wan. And we're gonna apologize for this beforehand, but we are both tired, and we might forget some things. Oh. Get, a, get a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we might. Because <laughs> <right, right, laughs> we were both. That's not a. That's not a problem in the movie. It's not. You know, we were just tired, so we dozed off a little bit. And that's happened a lot when I've seen yeah. the past movies. Yeah, you know? for him. But, uh, yeah, so this was directed by James Wan. This is the next uh, DCEU movie after Wonder Woman. No, not shit. After Justice League and that debacle. Yeah, I, I've never seen that, by the way. you never seen Justice League? I've never League? seen Justice League, no. Well, you don't really have to see Justice League in order to get this movie because they, they only mention, like, one line about it. Oh. So, it's fine. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, they, they, I was wondering how they were going to do that. They was just like, he mentioned it, or one character mentioned it once, and then they just went past it yeah but um i i like yeah <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's fine but uh this is a good this is a good movie oh what do you say like it's not a bad movie no not a bad movie it's uh it's from what i heard from justice league this was an upgrade oh this is definitely an upgrade definitely an upgrade not a downgrade at all no this, this was a step in a better direction or in a writer direction right not so. necessarily the best step they could have taken but definitely a good step um so yeah, so you got the movies Aquaman, Jason Momoa's Aquaman, Roman Reigns, aka, yeah, Roman, AKA Roman Reigns. AKA you Roman look Reigns. just like Roman Reigns, but he's actually entertaining. Um, <laughs> he, uh, so yeah, he's Aquaman. Sound yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> so he's Aquaman, and he's doing his sort of superhero thing, and then he uh, gets called in to go back to Atlantis because his brother um, Orm. Uh, eight, uh, played by Patrick Wilson yeah, is yeah. trying to attack the surface world and so Mira shows up to get him to go back and he has to become the rightful uh, hero king of Atlantis and save the day that's the basic synopsis of the movie yeah pretty and, much yeah and it was it was fun um, I liked the cinematography like the colors oh it, my it was, god it was, it was great to see colors in a DCU film it's, it's rare for that to happen yeah um, you know what it reminds me of of what the last witch hunter with Vin Diesel. The oh, colors, you know. Really? Okay, yeah. I've never seen that movie. Oh, okay. you gotta see it, man. I've never seen that oh movie, my but God. all right. I, I guess that's a compliment. I don't know. Um, no. <laughs> this movie, what this movie reminded me of was, well, because a lot of people are saying, oh, this is like Black Panther, and it's really not. It's closer to Thor, and then what you mentioned, well, it might be a little bit of a spoiler, but it's a little bit like uh, Ant Man and the Wasp. Ant Man and the Wasp. Take yeah. that as you will, in more ways than one, but. Right. Um, and I actually like this movie more than Ant Man and the Wasp, honestly. Um, you do? Yeah, Ant Man and the Wasp was kind of meh, and this one was meh, but I at least like the special effects. Oh, it and, makes up for it, definitely. Yeah, yeah, the special effects and just seeing these DC characters in live action, that's the thing I really like. Like when, when Aquaman is doing Aquaman stuff, and when Mira's doing her thing, and Black Manta especially is doing his thing, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Because there were times where I was tired and. It's, you know, kind of going on, but then Black Man will show up, and I'll get interested. Or Aquaman will talk to some fish, and I'll get interested. Yeah, um, sharks, all that, dolphins. Everything. everything. Oh, there's so much in this. So, yeah, so this movie reminds me of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Thor. I'll tell you later. And then a little bit of Attack of the Clones, Star Wars Attack of the Clones. And then at some point, it becomes Pacific Rim. T take that as as you will. But Last this, two I haven't seen. Yeah, th this this movie is in, it's, it's a bit over the, all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Great movie. I mean, uh, well. Yeah, it's fine. I wouldn't say great. I wouldn't say great, yeah, yeah. But I, I liked it. It's hell? enjoyable. What? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's enjoyable. It's not a, like, this was not like a rage. Like, when I watch some of the other DC movies, I get annoyed. And this didn't piss me off. I was, I like where they were trying to go with this. Um, but this was sort of like a, a Marvel light like, I know people sometimes complain about Marvel being too funny, but I felt this movie was a little too light. It could have gone, it could have had a little more edge to it. Well, you know, yeah. I didn't need to be grim, but I, I could have had a little more edge to this or a little more. Yeah, it didn't need to be relevant. Doctor Strange or Iron Man funny. No, you know, I didn't... mean, it, it was fine. Like, like I said, Ant-Man, it was more, I like this more than oh, Ant-Man, Ant but it was more in the yeah. Ant-Man realm, but it had crazy special effects. Some of them were good. Some of them were okay. Um... And the costume design was really good. The design of Atlantis was really good. Uh, some of the dialogue didn't wasn't the best. 
Uh, Jason Momoa did fine with what he had to, but yeah. there wasn't many scenes where he had to really carry a scene. Him and Amber Heard was good, though. I like their chemistry. That's, uh, That's the Mira. Uh, Mira. Yeah, Mira. Amber Heard plays Mira. There's the a princess of, uh, mm -hmm. of uh, I can't remember that realm. Xanadu or whatever. No, that's oh, not I it. She had a long name. Zan that's all. Zan I can't remember. It's some of the X. But uh, yeah, that's the thing I liked about this. They they go into the history of Atlantis. They actually mm -hmm. have the different tribes. It was like the Fisherman tribe and the Brine, the uh, the Trench. The Trench were cool. Those those fish get monster people. Oh yeah, yeah. That was a really good um, scene. I like that because there was some horror elements with that. Okay. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. But um, I was just. Yeah, what's the you talking about? Well, first of all, about. her costume. That was the Oh, first that wetsuit thing. was nice. Okay, yeah. When she came out the water, I mean, guys, that, come on. Yeah, that was a good... Okay, so, because she had a costume in Justice League, and, of course, with Snyder, it was, like, all armored up, and it wasn't that great, but seeing her in the wetsuit, it looked like she came uh, out of the comic. Let me tell you. That's, a lot, that's one of the things I do like about this movie. It's like, a lot of the people look like they came right out of the comic, and I really enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. And whatever, but it's like... Then towards the end, it gets a little too comic booky. And Ooh, it's yeah. kind of like you could have pulled back just a little bit. Like I, I, I'm glad you're going with this, but like you could have pulled back just a little bit. Give me a little more substance, because there's a lot of spectacle, but not enough substance. So I don't get the reason why everyone's trying to like, oh, this is like a lamer version of Black Panther, because Black Panther had a message. This movie really doesn't. It could have had a message. Oh, it definitely had a message, especially with with Killmonger. Was yeah, saying. that too. I mean, and I don't even mean in like the like in that way, but it could have meant something. That's why I like Wonder. I, I would say I like Wonder Woman more because Wonder Woman was oh, about. Uh, I like how it was talking about the the negative the negativity of war and how people in war can be a problem, but then people can also be loving and caring <laughs> in a way. Um, so yeah, but. This movie doesn't really have much of that. It's just just standard, you yeah, know. Just standard action. Action hero uh, guy. Great uh, production. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just not too much in depth with the character. Yeah, yeah, right? I, yeah. It's it's very surface level. No oh. pun intended. Um, <laughs> Black Manor was cool. I like. Uh, I cannot pronounce that actor's name. Um, was uh, it Ya? Hold on. Uh, uh, what is his name? What is his name? I can probably. Yeah, Lord yeah, Hammer Abdul Mateen the second. If you ever seen, um, that's a name right there. It is. He was on the Get Down on you on uh. Oh, that was oh. Yeah, on uh Netflix. He was in another movie, but he's really good. I like him. He was a good actor. And he's he was fine in this movie. He didn't have too much. He, he didn't have too much to do, but he was he was cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, had some problems with his uh, motivation a little bit, but um. Yeah, yeah I mean, he also had um Steve Harvey on there. Steve Harvey. Um, Steve Harvey. His dad. The the looking like Steve Harvey. Oh, that, well, he was trying to look like Steve Harvey. He didn't look exactly like Steve Harvey, yeah, but yeah, yeah, that was the thing with his dad. Yeah, yeah he, um, he was on first yeah, Sunday as well. So. Yeah, that's right. He yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Dolph Lundgren was good. Oh man, he was in this a lot more than I was expecting. Yeah, and, most definitely red hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I liked uh, Willem Dafoe as Volko. He was fun. He had me. He gave me one of my favorite laughs in the movie. It's just his face. It was a facial expression where he was smiling. Oh, and yeah, it just yeah. made me laugh. And um, you'll see. Uh, Nicole Kidman was good too, as his mom, and the dude was uh, Tamura Morrison, who plays uh, Aquaman's dad. They had that, I guess it's a slight spoiler, but they had that uh, that technology where they make the actor look young, and it looked good at some scenes, but then at other scenes it was not too good. But you know they tried. Oh, wow. Yeah, they tried. That's him. Who? You said. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, that's the dad. He was uh, Jango Fett in uh, Attack of the Clones. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And Star Wars. He looked like, uh, what's that? Ricky Steamboat a little bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he looks a little bit, yeah, he does look a little bit like Ricky Steamboat. Yep, exactly. And, uh, I mean, that's pretty much all I can say for non spoilers. It's, I don't think this is a movie you have to rush, to, like, I mean, you don't have to necessarily rush out to see it in theaters. But, you know, the holiday season, if you want to see some, check some out, it's not a bad movie. Yeah, see. ladies, if you want to see a uh, half-naked man with tattoos, go ahead. Yeah, that Tell too. I mean, they a... didn't do that as, oh, maybe I just ignored it, but they didn't do it as much as I was expecting them. But there is yeah. some scenes where he's, you know, shirtless, yeah, but then he's also looking it. very uh, sexy, yeah. trying to look, trying to give you those eyes. I'm like, oh, okay. I, yeah, yeah, I we see it. enough of it. I was yeah, going like, to walk out the theater. Yeah, I was like, no, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was, like I said, it wasn't. 
that overt, but it, it wasn't nah, a lot right. of that. If I had to grade, what would you? What would your grade be? Like a one out of ten or? Uh, like I might give it a six and a half, seven. A six, six and a half, or about a seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's where I'm. That's where I'm at too. I give this about a seven out of ten. A uh, was that a C? Uh, plus? C? Like a C, yeah, about a C plus. Yeah, yeah. Okay. About right in that range. I, like I said, this is fine. I didn't like this more than Wonder Woman, although. I, I, well, we can get that in spoilers. That's all I have to say for now. So we'll come back for spoilers. Spoilers. What do we what do we want to spoil first? Uh, do you want to start with just the beginning of how it all plans out? So she gets washed up on shore, right? Yeah. And uh, then his dad comes. Tommy, dad, so, uh, whatever. Yeah, it's his dad, uh, Tom. Tom. It's his yeah. dad's name. So yeah. So he finds her, then brings her back in the house, because uh, you know she had wounds on her body. Yeah. And so he, he takes. He nurses her back to health. Yeah, yeah. And then they bang, and they have a baby, <laughs> which is different from the comic, because in the comic, most of the comics, after she gives birth to Aquaman, she dips out. But yeah. in this one, she actually stood. For, she stayed around for about at least he was like three or four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was then, real young. Yeah, he was. So. He was still young, so that was different. Um, and and she, I, yeah. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no. You, you oh, said, yeah. well, I mean, well, at first, I'm like, did she even speak English? Well, she did, but over she time, did. she. Uh, yeah. Well, they did in the ocean as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they didn't really yeah. do the whole Atlantean, Atlantean. Which that was another layer they could have added, but they just didn't. Right, right. Um, like I said, this is a very surface level movie. Um, so my problem with Black Manor, not a problem, but it was like so him and his dad are pirates, and they robbed this Russian uh, submarine. And after they robbed the Russian submarine, they walk. They, remember these are thieves in the middle of a crime. Yeah. So they walk away and have a little moment where he's like, "Hey, you know." Your grandfather was in World War Two, yeah, yeah, and he yeah. was one of the greatest uh, Under, underwater demolition, uh, yeah, underwater men ever. But they never gave him his respect. And here's his sword, and I want you to, you know, take the reins of this pirate thing. I'm proud of you, son. Here's his knife. Yeah, uh, they called him the manor. I'm so proud of you, son. In the middle of a, of a robbery, they just have this this father and son moment, yeah. which I thought was weird. So then Aquaman comes in and he beats the hell out of these guys. He Aquaman, some of the choreography was really good. Oh my god, man! But some the of the grunting could have just Argh. yeah, yeah. He was yeah, he was kicking ass. But I think some of the way they shot it at the beginning I didn't like, but towards the end I liked more so. But um, so yeah, after that, what him and Black Man are getting into a fight, a and then the fight. dad. I had a problem because the dad comes in and he shoots him with the in the uh -huh. room with the torpedoes and I'm like why are you shooting a rocket in a room full of torpedoes that's not safe they didn't for think. anybody they, they don't think okay. but then he shoots at him again what, what was the he knocked out black man uh, he hit him with the torpedo knocked him out and then he threw the pipe at the dad and kind yeah, of stabbed him right in the shoulder yeah, yeah yeah then that's when he was gonna leave he shot at him again and then and then the uh, tank that, yeah that hit the water so yeah. then it was leaking so then, uh, man, to try to pick up. Yeah, he was know, trying to. Yeah, he was trying to get. Yeah, because then the torpedo landed on the dad, torpedo, so he's yeah, pinned. Yeah. So yeah. he's like, "Hey, save my dad!" And then Aquaman's like, "Well, you and your dad are thieves, and you've killed innocent people, so I don't. I'm not going to give you the same respect, which I get." So then now his dad dies, but then it got overly emotional because we've only known these people for like like five minutes and this gets really no even less we probably only known him for three minutes yeah and then it gets super emotional yeah. like they want me to care about him y'all just robbed right yeah just robbed some people yeah and now i got to feel bad about your your dirty ass dad diane and you getting all emotional about it i'm like y'all some thieves but i get it's your dad but it's like why should i care yeah i mean and I, it was no like it was like so this was like some saving private ryan shit like they was he like pulls out the grenade and he's like i'm going down with the ship and he's like you better get out of here better get out of here boy he's like but i'm not gonna leave your daddy he's like you got to go and he's slowly running through the water <laughs> that the was bitch blower. i was like why why are we doing this right now i don't know these people you know what I thought it was gonna cause like a big explosion. Yeah, it was a it was a it was a realistic explosion. It was just like a boom. Oh, just like that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I thought he was gonna close the lid because it was and like. And then it explode, right? Yeah. But then they needed that so he can do the 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 false flag attack at the. Uh, remember when he had uh, Dolph Lundgren and 
and uh, um, Ocean Master, and then the submarine came oh, out and attacked him. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. I, I knew immediately. I was like, okay, that was a setup because, I mean, Ocean Master does that every time he's in the comic. It's like, oh, the surface dwellers, they attacked us. And then it's like, I set this up so I can start a war type thing. So right, I, I right. knew that was covered. Um, what was well, Okay, some other spoilers. Uh, uh, we just that thing kind of bugged me. Uh, I, I, have you seen Man of Steel? Man of Steel? Yeah. Man. You remember that? Because I, I'm, I was debating, like, do I like um, Ocean Master more than Zod? And it's kind of... It's been a minute since yeah, I've Yeah, yeah, because uh, in terms of the best villain in these movies, I think it's still Zod, although I didn't I didn't hate Ocean Master in this. I'll let you talk on that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, because... You go ahead. Because Ocean Master was fine. He was very basic. I mean, Zod was basic, too, but at least there's moments in this movie with Zod, like when he, like, does his announcement to the Earth on TV. I like that scene. With Ocean Master, there's not too many scenes of him where I'm like, oh, I really like that. I liked his armor. His armor was oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, beast armor. Yeah, he had great designs well, on I his armor. at the end, I mean. Yeah, yeah, and the purple one at the end was my favorite. I didn't like that gold one he had, but yeah. I, I mean, he was he was fine. Patrick Wilson did a good job, yeah. and uh, but nothing too spectacular. It's or, okay. You know, yeah. But, but um... Okay. Uh, some other but okay so one of my problems this movie doesn't really have a message it could have had a message because you know ocean masters like the the earth the, the uh surface dwellers have thrown their trash and their pollution into the sea and this is a problem and we need to do something about it before you hit on that and then you had the guy who played kim jong-un in uh the movie with seth rogan yeah wh who was he he was the guy that was saying that there was an atlantis and then the people wasn't oh was that him yeah, yeah, that was him. Oh, I okay. Oh, that was the, uh, Ryan. Yeah, he's in Ant Man and the Wasp as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's the uh, agent. John, right? Yeah, he uh, was the uh, agent. Yeah, he's yeah. on the news ranting. He was a very useless. How character. ironic! We were just talking yeah, about exactly. he's on the... Oh, so yeah, the reason we said this is Ant Man and the Wasp. So okay, Ant Man and the Wasp is about a, a man, a male hero and a female hero with similar abilities teaming up to uh, save the day. But then they also have to save uh, the girl's mom. And in this movie, uh, Aquaman is about a male and female superhero with similar powers teaming up, and then they end up saving one of the characters' mom. They end up saving um, uh, Aquaman's mom. Uh, yeah, his mom. They think yeah. she's dead, but it turns out she survived her death. That was, was pretty yeah, cool. I yeah. was fine with that. But when you mentioned that, I was like, oh shit, this is Ant Man. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, she just, <laughs> there she is, like, yeah, right like, there. Like, oh, Because okay. at first, I didn't think she was dead. Oh, you I didn't? didn't? I nah, because they didn't really touch. Well, they they touched on a lot, but they mm -hmm. didn't explain how she died to me. You yeah, know? well, they just said the trench people ate her. Which that's, is, that's it. Yeah, oh, well, that's well, what they said. We, we didn't like see it. That's yeah, yeah, I, that's, yeah, that was the, the misdirect. Because normally, what makes Orm more evil? Because Orm's not that bad in this movie. He's not that great, but he's not that bad either. Is in like in the um, Throne of Atlantis, he actually kills the mom, but oh. but he frames um, Aquaman. Oh. Well, cause, but yeah, because the mom wasn't, she was really very cold to him, so he didn't really, he w wanted her love, but she never really gave it to him because she was taking her aggression out on the dad, onto him. See, okay. that's layers right there. They, this movie didn't have that. That's why I was like, eh, with the character. Same thing with Black Manna. See, in some versions of the comic, Black Manna led to the death of Aquaman's dad, so then... Aquaman was going to kill Black Manta, but accidentally killed Black Manta's dad. That's what and I that's why they happened. hated each other. But in this one, it's more one-sided because Aquaman sort of sort of leaves his dad for, for death. And then that pisses Black Manta off. But it's not the greatest, it's not the greatest motivation on both sides. It's more of a one-way street. As opposed, I mean, yeah, he's a pirate, but like there's still that <clears throat> personal conflict that's not really there. So that was some minor problems I had with the story. Yeah. They could have made it a little tighter than what it was. Um, okay, okay, so when when I said the Tag of the Clones and the Pacific Rim, so at the end they have the big battle you've seen in the trailers when they got the crab people versus the <laughs> sea dragons and the shark riders. I was like, oh, this is like a Tag of the Clones with the clones versus the droids, just this big CGI battle. Yeah. And it's kind of... Who's going to attack? Who's going to win? Yeah, it was kind of crazy. And then there's the moment <laughs> when he's talking to the crab general, and he's like, 
you're gonna you're gonna surrender to me and that's like this crab face is like i'll never surrender to you i'm like i was just sitting there like what the fuck is going on with this movie like this, this movie is insane and then out of nowhere like after aquaman gets his uh he gets his, uh tried it gets his, to try it uh, in yeah. the trident in the suit and everything the ground starts to crack and the fucking kraken pops up out of nowhere because there's a kraken that like protects the um the and trident. i was trying to figure out when uh jason momoa's character when aquaman was going to take the trident like when he was talking to the uh what is the kraken uh, I, forget, I call it kraken that's Crackin'. pretty much what it was i'm like who where <laughs> like yeah, is he talking was, to the fin like what oh what yeah where the mouth was yeah, yeah cause you couldn't mouth? see it because it was just the tentacles yeah i think that was julie andrews because they said she was in the movie i'm assuming that's oh. yeah the og mary poppins so yeah so then the big kraken it's like a big kaiju if you ever seen pacific rim just comes out of nowhere and there's Starts whipping ass, and I was sitting there like, what? I, like you didn't look at me, but my whole time I was watching, I was just sitting there like, like this is happening. Like that's the moment. It's like this is a little too much in terms of a comic book. Like they just went full force. But when Aquaman was was uh, swag surfing on that on that dragon, I was I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. I liked it. And then he fights um, uh, Ocean Master, and he becomes the king. And then he sees the mom, and then he's arrested, and then that's the end of the movie. That's that's all we got. That's, that's, that's <laughs> well, we missed we missed the the uh, uh, Sicily. Well, who gives a shit? It, it well, happened. Yeah. They go to Sicily. That was a good action sequence. That was bro. that was probably my favorite action. Have you uh, seen that one. five minute trailer when uh, Black Manta attacks um, him and his people? Uh, he, oh, the Atlantean ba uh, soldiers attack him. That was a good sequence, I have to say. Actually, no. When she was in the uh, with the wine, she took all the wine oh, yeah. and then, like stabbed him yeah, with the shards. Yeah, that was epic. Yeah, that yeah. was actually really cool. Yeah, yeah. Mira was bad. I like Mira in this movie. She, she was, was good. Oh, yeah, she yeah. was not a damsel in distress. Although I did have a problem with them just kissing in the middle of the battle. I thought and they it took them forever to kiss. Like yeah. you knew they liked each other, but I'm like, yeah. when is it gonna come? It was believable. I bought it. Like, come on. I bought man. it, but yeah, it They're took them a while. Two good-looking people. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but they got along though. They both, you know, yeah, yeah, they yeah. both had a good. Because she had the whole thing with her and Orm, arranged marriage with her and Orm. So yeah. like the mom's arranged marriage with his dad, and that didn't go. So. The mom went been with a bunch of. Um, she been with some dudes. So. Yeah. What's her name? Uh, Judy, Nicole. Uh, Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Kidman. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she was fine. She was like I said, she was in this movie a lot more than I was. It popped up near the end. I was like, we knew it was her. Yeah, yeah, everybody, yeah, yeah, everybody in the theater was like, oh, that's the mom. Because at first I was like, who the hell is that? Oh, it's the mom. Because you yeah, can see yeah. the, the white from the suit under the trench armor. Them fighting the trench, was that was a really good scene. When they had the flares. And oh, like, that, oh under yeah, the water. yeah. That was yeah, really yeah. good. I like yeah. I like how they did that. Um, There's like eight actions. If not eight to ten action scenes. Yeah, the but they're, they're spaced out. But there is a long drought, no pun intended. But there's a long drought within the desert and just being goofy. Which was kind of, and then like them hanging out at the uh, place, and she eats the roses. That was the oh, one yeah, joke yeah, yeah. that I thought was funny, and and no one in the theater fucking laughed at, and that pissed me off because everybody laughed at every, you too laughed at every other <laughs> joke, but when she bit the rose, Dude, I think nobody I was, laughed, and I was, I was, I was like, out of it a little you bit. probably were, but I was just like, what the f like, no one thought that was funny. What what was the? Uh, she ate a rose because she's not used to roses. I thought that was the fun, well not the funniest, but I thought that was really funny, wow. and no one in the theater, everybody in the theater was like, boo. I'm like, are you serious? That other shit was funny, but that wasn't okay. But anyway, that's. I it. heard you saying something about. Yeah, it. I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, no one thought that was funny. Really? I'm like, I thought I was like, "What the hell? Is she eating a rose?" Cause she, <laughs> she's from the ocean. She don't know what the hell this is. Okay. And the flower needs water to grow. Yeah. So. But she don't know what. Well, coral, I guess. Anyway, that this is the movie. It was good. Um, yeah. Although, so like with Black Panther, and to a degree, Doctor Strange. They don't have that many villains, and like most of them are in this movie, so I don't know if they do a sequel. I don't know what the hell they're gonna do for well, the sequel. Well, I think they're gonna continue with uh, cause at the end. Well, yeah, at the end with Black Man, Black Man true, so. but it's like, but he he pretty much beat his ass. Yeah, he can't, oh yeah, so. he, he fucked him up. He did. <laughs> but Black Black Man, I had him though. He did for a bit. Yeah, he burnt them. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's another thing that they did that I like. They yeah. actually showed the superhero saving people, just like in Wonder Woman. That was those moments where he like he he lifted that thing off that guy that got paralyzed yeah he saved that girl from that bell like those personal moments where the hero actually saves a person that's what these dc movies need because we didn't get much of that in man of steel it was a lot of buildings falling 
We, I, we they, didn't really get it in BVS. They do it in Transformers all the time. Yeah, that's buildings, right. buildings falling and we, bridges, and yeah, all of a sudden just people on the cars. Yeah. Like they have to be dead. But exactly. Not but let's towards not them. talk about that. So I like I like those little moments where they actually show the heroes actually interacting and saving people right. in a personal way. I like that. Uh, do more of that. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is a good movie. That's that's really all I got to say about it. Is any, any other thing you got to say? Uh, no, nah, that's it. That's, that's, that's all I have. It. Pretty yeah. much touched on most of it. Yeah. So, I mean, just make sure you you sleep. Yeah, okay, get nice rested sleep. before you watch this because I mean, it's two hours and twenty. It's two hours and twenty three minutes. It's a long ass movie, and it didn't need to be as long as it was. I think. But so cause I was I was about to doze off, but I was like, no, I can't. I want to be I want to be energized. For I want to get as much dude, as I can for this review. Try, but you could try, man. But damn, I, I, I told was. Him, I was like, I was out for. I, I didn't sleep for the whole forty minutes, but I was kind of going. In yeah, and I, was I was fading. I was fading too. But whenever Aquaman <laughs> actually did the the little boop, 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 and talked to some fish, that woke me up. Whenever Black Man was on screen, it woke me up. Ocean Master with his helmet woke me Ocean up. Ocean Master, that's another thing, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That was the thing you they was having. Change the name, man. Change the name, Ocean Master. I call did. it something else. Ocean Master. That's that's freaking common. It, I mean, it's not the best to me. Yeah, it's not the best name, but they made it work. You know, it's a title as opposed to just some shit he came up with. Aquaman, Ocean Master. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you gotta think of something. I mean, look, uh, this was this was created in the what fifties. It's, I'm sorry. This is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is what it is. Yeah, but in all, Jason Momoa, he did a good job. Yeah, he was know? fine. And if he can't do the next one, get Roman Reigns to do oh, it. Oh, God. Know? Oh, you know what was funny? I forgot. I just remember that bit where he was in the bar drinking with his dad. That was nice. And then those those big guys Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he had a pink phone. One yeah. He wanted, uh, he wanted his, uh, a picture. Some selfies. Yeah. And then they just got drunk and, and partied at the bar. That was fun. I like that. Are you the, what do you say? Are you the fish boy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you that yeah, fish boy? He's like, he's, first of all, it's fish man. Yeah. And he's like, yes, I am. And then they, they, you think they're about to fight. And he's like, yeah, we just wanted to get a picture because you're like a local hero. And he was like... Oh. Pulled out a pink-ass phone. Yeah, had the pink phone. That was funny. I like that. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 but that's definitely it at this point. But, um, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out his channel. Yeah, 80-plus uh, videos. Yeah, he's got a lot of video, uh, uh, video game playthroughs. Yeah, God of War right now. God of War in 2K. Yeah, those so. are his two main ones. He's trying to, I know you're doing some of the other ones, but... Oh, yeah, I stopped, I stopped about a month ago. <laughs> yeah, it's just hard to maintain that yeah. and also uh, go to school, and then you have a full-time job. Yeah. And then you want to try to get some gym in, but yeah. it's, it's hard to go it's to... a lot. I got to cut yeah, the gym out. Yeah, check, it. <laughs> check his channel out. Uh, leave, leave some comments in the comment section. Let us know what you thought about the film. And uh, check out more videos. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace. Finish this thought. I am a slave to the booty.